Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another Sims Info and Thoughts video. So we got two different things to talk about today. The first will be a fairly quick one. So over the past year, we've had various expansion packs go on a free trial for about a weekend. And the next one of these is Snowy Escape, the 10th expansion pack for The Sims 4. So if you don't already have Snowy Escape, I suggest giving it a whirl and see if you like this expansion pack or not. In my opinion, it is probably one of the weaker ones, but it definitely has its merits. Like it has a Japanese inspired world, Mount Komorebi, which I think is very pretty. And I do like the aspects of Japanese culture added to the game. And of course, the skiing and snowboarding and sledding, pretty fun. Also, if you already happen to own fitness stuff, you can use that rock climbing treadmill to build up your rock climbing skill. And speaking of rock climbing, if you are the type of player who loves killing their sims, there are two new deaths. Death by rock climbing if your sim is not skilled enough, and there's also death by vending machine. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how these trials work, I'll leave a link to the FAQ page in the video description below. The other thing I want to talk about is a new survey, and it's all about the scenarios feature they released late last year. So the first question is, have you played with the scenarios feature in The Sims 4? And technically, I have, even though I didn't play them extensively. And then the next question is, how did you learn about scenarios? There's various methods listed, such as reading about it in community forums, such as Reddit and the official forums, saw it on the official websites, saw an influencer post about it, just saw it on the main menu, or a friend or family told you about it, or that you saw it on social media, among others. And I saw it on social media first, so I went for that one. Next, the survey asked me, overall, how satisfied are you with scenarios? And I put very dissatisfied and you can actually explain why you rated your satisfaction with scenarios that way. So I said, scenarios don't do anything really new. Limited time scenarios are unnecessary. They should all be permanent. Having only two always available at a time looks very bare on the main menu. They'd be better if they could pop up within existing households too. The time put into making scenarios would have been better spent on more frequently asked features that still aren't in the game after over seven years. Then I was asked what excited you most about scenarios? More variety slash different ways to play The Sims 4, inspiration for what to do next, having goals to work towards, sharing scenario results online or with friends, more difficult slash challenging ways to play The Sims 4, more things to do in The Sims 4, or other. And I put inspiration, because out of those, I guess that is the one that makes the most sense for just how I play, where it's like, I could look at a scenario and think, oh, okay, I guess that could be an interesting story to just play out in my game. Next question is, thinking about what made you most excited about scenarios, how well did scenarios live up to your expectations? And I put not at all. After that, I was asked, some scenarios were only available for a limited time. Please rate your agreement with the following statement. Limited time scenarios were available for long enough for me to be able to play them. And I do not agree with this at all because Mostly, they've only been available for about two weeks, which is pretty short. Like, I feel like if they had to really keep this limited time thing around, it should be for a lot longer than that. At least with Surviving the Holidays, that was around for a month, which was not as bad. But yeah, definitely way too short in general. Next question is a good one. What, if anything, would you like to see us improve about scenarios? So you could just type whatever you want in here. And I put, there should be at least 10 scenarios always available, showing the variety of scenarios possible within the game. Limited time ones should not be a thing. Creating custom scenarios with different possible rewards through an in-game tool and sharing them on the gallery would be a great way to make the scenarios feature more worthwhile. This actually came up in a live stream that I did the other day, and yeah, I think that actually is a pretty decent idea. Scenarios should be possible to activate within existing households. Some very difficult scenarios that take a longer time to complete would be nice too. 
Next question was, which scenarios did you play? And I checked off finding love after a breakup and surviving the holidays. I'm pretty sure I didn't even touch the other ones. Next, I was asked just how satisfied I was overall with both of them. So for finding love after a breakup, I put neutral because I actually like the different outcomes that you can get. But it's just with the romance system, it's too easy. So I feel like that does take that down from satisfied to neutral. And then with Surviving the Holidays, I put very dissatisfied because I've heard that it is really buggy and that people could not complete it. And also there isn't really much urgency to it. Like there's no actual holiday event and it is kind of strange like that. Next, I was asked why were you dissatisfied with Surviving the Holidays? I just explained it, but they actually just asked for the single most important reason, so I put bugs preventing completion. Then we arrive at the very last question, is there anything else you would like to say about scenarios? So I said, I don't find scenarios a compelling feature, especially since you always have to make a new household, and nothing really new is done gameplay-wise. Certain scenarios, like Surviving the Holidays, don't have enough urgency to them because there's no actual holiday event that it builds up to. Maybe some scenarios should have a time limit to complete, but not in the limited time scenario sort of way that we have now. More like an in-game clock time limit. So maybe you could even speedrun it if you want to, but you can still start over if you want, and the scenario won't ever disappear out of the game. And with that, we come to the end of the survey. So I'm glad they are asking for our feedback on scenarios because overall, I do feel like scenarios, eh, <laughs> they could have just spent that development time on other more asked for features, but there's still ways they could improve scenarios as a feature if they really want to commit and keep going with this. I mean, I would honestly not be surprised if they kind of just swept them under the rug eventually like they did with the sim sparked but i don't know i mean if they did do that whole idea with being able to create custom scenarios and sharing them on the gallery i think that actually would give that feature more value i know there are some people out there who do love the scenarios feature and i guess i can kind of see that perspective because it does give more of a mission-based structure but I still feel like it's not worth it in the end, especially considering there are things like spiral stairs and burglars and an attraction system and improved babies and cars that objectively would be better received than scenarios. Especially this late into the game and we don't know how much longer The Sims 4 is going to stick around, I think they should really get to work on just putting in more of those highly requested features instead of spending time on these kind of like more random things like scenarios that not as many people ask for and is not really satisfying as many people either. And that wraps up another Sims Info Thoughts video, so feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you going to do the trial for Snowy Escape? And what do you think of scenarios, and how would you improve them if you had the chance? Well, other than the obvious take them out of the game entirely idea. But also feel free to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my latest gaming content, including life simulations and more. So I'll talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching!